Hello, and welcome to I Close the Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, here's the final section of uh, my current whip here. So we're at Treasure Studios Arts Canvas. All right, basically this corner. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, basically this corner. Rest of the horse's head and it's Night Horse by a Plena Biv Sheva, 60 by 60 centimeters. Square drill, mounted film adhesive. There's a little social. 30 colors and uh, no Aurora Borealis drills. So yeah. Or ABs if you want to call them that. All right, so. I guess it's just uh, basically choose the color. I'll yeah, I'll avoid this guy for now. I'll just jump into. I'll do the diamond. Yeah, I'll pull the diamond out. I'll work on the horse during the whip and chat for now, just to get a start. Okay, twenty-two. Just hang it. Hopefully everybody's uh, ready for their holiday celebration. I just came home from uh, having supper at my brother's house. So, yeah, uh, Christmas Eve. Just went there. <laughs> Christmas Day is going to probably just be another day for us here at the house. So. I already opened gifts from... Uh, the parents and all that, so yeah, we're good. <laughs> it's Christmas basically over with. All right, so diamond, let's jump right in. Uh, diamond's not all over the place, but uh, yeah, I'll just uh, fill in the diamonds for the time being. There's a few in the sky, but yeah, I'll just fill in what's here. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I tried to do a, a whip and chat earlier today, but yeah, I just wasn't feeling all that great. So I just kind of finished the previous section off camera as I, yeah, I definitely wasn't a hundred percent earlier. My, I have earwax congestion and my ears feel congested and yeah, I had a headache and yeah, it's just, <laughs> just not having it earlier. So I just like, uh, relaxed for a bit, got some diamond painting in off camera and, uh, yeah, finished the previous section. Yeah, I just needed to <laughs> kind of just chill for a few minutes. Yeah, I feel a lot better now, so. Yeah, it could have been dehydration or more sugar in my system than <laughs> I normally have. Literally any other time of the year. Yeah, eh, just small period of time where I wasn't just doing very good. <laughs> oh well, no. Yeah, and tons better now, so we're good. Yeah, it's going to be a fairly hefty section, but yeah, it's the end of the canvas, though, so. I can do a 
next uh, whip <laughs> to the next unboxing and yeah, work through that. Oh, this has been a cool canvas here regardless, so, yeah. Uh, I love doing this canvas. Yeah, it's been a mix of confetti and, uh, uh color blocking in some instances. Oh, there is a circle, a couple circle symbols on here that I just have to be wary of. Circle there. Yeah, just probably like under a dozen circle symbols, but yeah, the background's a little different for the circle symbols, some were good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Alright, yep, yeah, so yeah, just starting out with diamonds here. I'll just work on the horse's head for the hour. Yeah. I've done uh quite a few <laughs> whipping chats in a row with uh just the sky background, but yeah. That's what was in a couple of the sections. Uh, basically sky, <laughs> since this is the top of the canvas, so. Yeah, I've said throughout this whip in chat that, uh, this current whip, that there's going to be a lot of blue. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite a bit of 310 as well, but not so much now. It's more of the blue. But, yeah. Yeah, it was a fair bit of 310 in like the horse and yeah the part of the knight uh, face and shadowing in his armor and stuff but yeah not as much 310 as I thought originally but that's nice yeah It's the most amount of 310 drills I've seen in a canvas thus far that I've done. So. But hey, it's all good. I haven't run out of any color yet, so. Yeah, I think uh, the drills were figured out properly. And yeah. Rest of the canvas should go off without a hitch. Should be all right. Oh, well, for the next canvas, I should be getting a break from blue. <laughs> Any shades of blue, I think. <laughs> be different shades of white to an extent, maybe. And uh, I think there's A, B's and Frosty Forest Friend. So, yeah, we'll get to see A, B's again. So, yeah, it's back to Diamond Art Club, but. Yeah, eventually I'll have uh, 
uh, different canvases from uh, different diamond painting companies. So yeah, I'll get no worries there. I'll get there. Here I am sticking to the adhesive again. But yeah. Yeah, this blue is just kind of like a detail color again. Do this for next note. Now, I always have a couple days off from work, so that's good. I go back on the 27th. And I have to restart the line. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> All good. It's a fairly simple, straightforward product to, <laughs> to get back up and running again Then a small amount of time. And I can just uh, be a fairly relaxed 12 hour shift. Nice around the holidays. Yeah, 27th is like technically a holiday uh, for, as per holiday guidelines at work, but yeah, I signed up for that because I didn't sign up for working today because uh, supper at my brother's house. So yeah, I'm supper at my brother's house and open gifts here Christmas Eve. We, we just get it over with here. <laughs> yeah, we just get her done. <laughs> yeah, we're just very low-key. We just kind of look at all the hype around Christmas and just shake our heads and <laughs> just do our own thing. That's okay. Yeah. Don't like extra high detailed kind of holidays. Anyway, it's nice seeing people going all out, seeing houses decorated. And yeah, the Christmas trees in the windows, like, yeah, in people's living rooms, but you can see it through their front windows. So it's, it's nice to see. Like, I don't hate Christmas trees or anything. It's just. Yeah, we, we can't because we have a cat. I don't know. It, just something that's asking kid to get destroyed and possibly hurt the cat because he wouldn't know any better about not chewing <laughs> something that he really shouldn't be chewing. So... Yeah, we we had an artificial tree when I was like younger. They had to like put together. Like, back when we really didn't have pets at that time. Yeah, eventually I had to help put it together my dad or whatever but yeah just kind of grew out of it moved away from it like Christmas wasn't 
a huge thing as a brother and I got older. Yeah. <laughs> so. Not that you can, like, ever really grow to Christmas. Like, some traditions might change. Or your interests in some things might change over time, but... Yeah, we just don't get overly hyped for the holidays. I know, it's just... <laughs> it's a lot of noise and commercialism. It's just gets way too in your face sometimes. I find that a little stressful and overbearing. But mm. uh, I know it's a great way to kind of put you in a happier mood or like a more positive mood in terms of holiday spirit, like just in general, but I don't know, I just can't do constant Christmas music. Like, a good 24-hour block of it. I love music, but one or two sprinkled in to, like, just regular everyday music is fine. But just, like, marathon. Uh, there are certain radio stations that do that, like, far before Christmas in the days leading up to Christmas, but, yeah. Like, if you're a, like, Christmas music, like, I wouldn't be shocked if you had, like, uh, music downloads or something, music downloaded or CDs or records or whatever of said Christmas music in your house anyway. Oh, excuse me. Or on a smart device at this point. But, yeah, it, it's nice every once in a while, Christmas music, but I, I can't do like a marathon of it. <laughs> I listen to a mix of music. I jump around quite a bit, but uh, genre-wise, but I, yeah. Can't do a straight playlist of Christmas music. <laughs> Can handle it. That uh, was kind of in the van driving home, though. Mm, not my van. <laughs> my parents drive it, but yeah, I don't drive the van. I have my own car, which is, yeah. Usually, uh, thank goodness for a CD player. <laughs> In the car a lot of times because yeah i if i get bored of what's on the radio like i listen to one station i really don't like fiddling around with that kind of stuff in the car finding a radio station that will come in i find one that's yeah local relatively london i guess i think it's london or whatever london ontario that is I think I could be totally wrong. Don't pay too much attention. There's usually music on. <laughs> anyway, but... Yeah, if I get bored of that, I have like hundreds of CDs that I can just slide into the CD player and, uh... Yeah, listen to full CDs. Yeah, I don't shift around on the tracks or hit shovel. I just... I don't even know if there's a shuffle option for CD player. I don't think so. I think it's just a uh, plays through the CD. I think that's a strand of hair. And I hate adhesive. Let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time that I've uh, just put drills over a piece of hair stuck onto the adhesive, whether it's cat hair or my hair. Yeah. 
Yeah, my hair falls out, so strand by strand. <laughs> Cat hair, yeah, that's It's never constant. Factor in the house, I'm pretty sure I got it out of the adhesive, but I don't see the strand anymore. Oops. <laughs> I'll turn up again, I guess. <laughs> oh well. At least got it out of the adhesive. Yeah, what can you do? It happens. Yeah, it, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple strands of hair worked into the canvas. <laughs> Just put drills over it. Yeah, it's all good. No big. Shouldn't be noticeable. <laughs> Just like uh, uh, none of these drills are going to be 100% straight. That's okay too. No big. Yeah, the symbol is covered. Just in general, so yeah, it's gonna be some gaps, but nothing like major. And drills are fairly consistent sizes throughout, so can't complain too much. Yeah, and yeah, as I learned a bit ago, Treasure Studios art canvases are made to order and don't sit on the shelf for long periods of time. Yeah, I think they're printed as they're needed. So I learned from a comment a, a few weapon chats ago. So yeah, learn something new every day, and I appreciate that, of course. I don't know, somebody who probably just does uh, Treasure Studios art canvases on a regular basis. This is my first one, so. Yep, all good. So, it's good to learn. And, yeah. Yeah, instead of this just being poured glue, this is mounted film adhesive. So it goes on in strips or something. Adhesive goes on and strips over the canvas instead of uh, just a single layer of adhesive spread onto the canvas so that the drills adhere. So, but different, but yeah. I didn't have any problems with the adhesive bubbling up or anything, so. The canvas came in excellent condition and it's been working on it ever since. And I'll be done eventually. So, yeah, I don't rush with my canvases on here. I'm doing the weapon chat, so I just work on the present canvas uh, to see it through completion. So, I just do one canvas at a time on the Echoes of Color here, so. Yeah, I can't really diamond paint anywhere else. Because of my cat. Like, I could diamond paint down in my bedroom if I wanted to, but... Uh, it, it can be hard to even get to this canvas some days. to lay a few drills down. <laughs> Probably at least get an hour, like guaranteed hour on doing a whip and chat, then yeah, that's progress. At, at least something, some form of progress <laughs> uh, towards uh, completing a project. 
yeah, but yeah, you'll get those days where you just aren't able to diamond paint. That's okay. Yeah, you'd probably have the whole mentality of, yeah, I'd love to be diamond painting, but I gotta, I have to adult right now. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me quite a bit. It's usually just me having to go to work, so. <laughs> yeah. I've been called in to cover a few shifts, so. Uh, a couple days ago, actually. And I don't get the details, it's just the line has to run. I think it only stays. Egg can only uh, stay in the silos that they're stored in for so long before they spoil. Like, the silos are like temperature controlled, but yeah, it probably not recommended to just leave raw egg sitting in. <laughs> A silo for a long period of time. Well, and get egg gets a uh, the liquid egg gets a. Uh, transported in uh, tankers which have to be like pumped out or I think it, it could be gravity uh, pump or whatever so yeah it just goes from silo to silo from fermentation to uh, finished product <laughs> where I am so all good. Minimal contact and basically nobody's really in contact with any of the egg at any time, so. Yeah, it's raw egg. You really wouldn't want to be uh, messing with that raw egg too much. Could be uh, pretty dangerous if, uh, yeah, ever got to room temperature and it got ingested or somebody got covered with it. Salmonella and yeah, miss a spot and yeah, it'll just track all over the plant or something somehow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do M next. Uh, number eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and it's gonna be like all over the place. I think it's basically on the horse. Oh, excuse me again. Okay. Man, yeah, I just kind of have to look a little extra <laughs> for the M on here. Yeah, it's just kind of a little more sparse than this blue that I did previously.
hopefully I don't miss any M's here. here just kind of here and there. one just uh, mapping out some of these uh, canvases must be a uh, pretty involved <laughs> or charting yeah now most of it might be a computer and then the image is kind of blown up slightly to kind of get an idea of what the colors are like. Yeah, I'm not sure the process entirely, but... I'm sure there's like some sort of, I don't know, kind of cross-stitch software. Like, kind of makes, scans a grid pattern from like the original piece of art and then you can just kind of map out the colors uh, to make it a diamond painting canvas but that I'm just assuming <laughs> taking a wild guess of how they map a lot of these canvases that that's a far-reaching guess <laughs> Yeah, just literally a few M's there. Sure. Right, <laughs> yeah, sorry if the canvas was slightly crooked for the vast majority of this. Whoops. <laughs> All right, triangle number four. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of like gray. TP tent. <laughs> It's all good. Right. I'll just go wherever I see the symbol. Oh, 
excuse me, oh, sneezing. <laughs> oh, per sneezing, yawning, oh man. <laughs> Just uh, having a time today. Hopefully that's down. Okay. Almost sounding like a another orange helicopter. It could be just be a plane too, but wow, <laughs> patient transfer. Yeah, we hear the orange helicopter a lot. It's it's an emergency helicopter. Transfers patients to hospitals from like a remote areas. Or an ambulance probably can't reach as quick. Yeah, I think it just avoids traffic, like road traffic. Yeah, it flies to London or from London, Ontario. And goes to various locations. We just hear it fly over a lot. Yeah, it probably has various uh, uses, or it's fairly versatile. Uh, I wouldn't know if it, like transports uh, transplant organs as well. It's an air ambulance, technically, so. It could be utilized as such. So, yeah. Mm. It's handy. Used for something, I'm sure. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. Oh. Great. Scratching my throat now. Like, really? <laughs> Having a time today. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I, as I said, I tried recording earlier, but yeah, I just got rid of that video. It was just, yeah, head wasn't in it. <laughs> wasn't a 10 of 100%. This kind of got lost, and it was just like, uh, nope, not now, maybe later. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, they're few times where I just don't feel 100%, yet I still function, and then there was this, yeah, time today where I didn't feel 100%, and yeah, just didn't want to function. <laughs> yeah, it was just the... <laughs> mm. 
Mm, body was like, I don't know. I'm so sorry. No, oh, it's all good. Yeah, there's like no pause button for on an iPhone by the looks of it. It's just like stop and then it just makes it a video file and then see, yeah, hit play or the record button again and it starts a new video file. And yeah, nothing nothing hard with my phone app, my editing app that uh just seamlessly ties the videos together, so but I like shooting or recording right straight through for the entire hour and then yeah, just very minimal editing, if at all. If there is background noise, I usually explain what it is. Yeah, because finicky. Yeah, I don't own this studio. That's just literally a corner in the our expansion of the house. Where I have this drafting table and then we're hanging out. Nothing fancy. <laughs> yeah, the iPhone's new, but uh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's just a camera bracket, cell phone, uh, canvas of myself. And just hanging out with uh, the community. Every once in a while, I place drills with the tweezers. <laughs> with the tweezers. Yeah, just once in a giggle. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes just to get a drill that's fallen on the wrong spot of the adhesive or need to take it off and straighten it. Just seldomly. <clears throat> I'd end up just flinging a bunch of drills, like throwing them around. It'd fly all over the place with if I was using tweezers all the time. Yeah, it all depends on the type of tweezers too. I guess there can be different tips. Yeah. Like more rounded tips that aren't sharp on the edge. Probably makes it easier to work with drills. Uh, the tweezers I have do have a point on them. And yeah, uh, as I mentioned, I am usually picking hair or strands of hair or drills that have fallen on the wrong spot on the canvas. Yeah, nice to have around. You do get them in uh, most square drill diamond painting kits, as far as I know. <laughs> if you don't, there's always a craft store or pharmacy, even Walmart, Amazon. <laughs> Tweezers are findable, I'm sure, or a fellow diamond painter, if you ask nicely or asked around. Could probably get you a pair without too much trouble. But I hope I'm not assuming too much that somebody would be willing to give you tweezers. Like, readily, but I don't know. It never hurts to ask. I have a few extra pairs, but yeah. <laughs> I'd probably just send them. <laughs> But I don't know if they necessarily get to 
I think there were like a weapon or something in, in the mail. <laughs> I think most of the time you get metal tweezers. I think they're like metal. Yeah, I don't know if they metal detect parcels or something. Declare that they're tweezers though. <laughs> if there was a shipping slip or whatever. I don't know. I wouldn't want to like give all the tweezers away. I just a pair or two, but <laughs> not gonna be a tweezer retailer. <laughs> it's just a handy accessory. Yeah, even if you have doing a round drill canvas, it never hurts to have a pair of tweezers around. Maybe the pointy, pointy er uh, tipped tweezers would be good for uh, round drills and. Or, in general, might be better to be able to lift drills off of adhesive, but that is totally up to whoever is handling the tweezers in the end, really. Some sets do have sharp and pointed tweezers that have a cover on them, just be careful while you're using those. They can probably pure skin really good and probably hurt <laughs> those are the diamond art club ones <laughs> for square uh drill kits man just having a time keep talking about tweezers and yeah i end up using them hmm. <laughs> uh, get sponsorship for a certain brand of tweezers <laughs> Don't forget, when you're diamond painting, use this brand today. <laughs> Buy them now. Available on <laughs> la <-dee> da <laughs> Oh my gosh, this guy is sponsoring tweezers. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Little bored, are we? Yep. So sorry. <laughs> tweezers are useful for various things. Please, no stabbing people. Thank you. Not a, probably not a very nice use for tweezers. Just use them for like slivers or something or yeah, drills off of adhesive on your canvases, please and thanks. Or for placing on a canvas. Eh, eh, there's a lot more degree of patience and detail uh, for that, but kudos to whoever does do that. That that's amazing. Seeing like a huge canvas and I was like, I single place this with two suits. Okay, yeah, you get used to it for sure. Comes muscle memory at at a point. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's a method. I'll give you tweezers. Like almost every set. <laughs> And if you have extras, you have extras. So, yeah. I've given my mom a couple pairs. She uses. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I don't know. I just single place with a diamond painting applicator pen. But, and just have tweezers on the side for. Just for maintenance, kind of tidy up sake. So, okay, Z or Z, we'll do next. Yep, so that's all that. We say Z up here in Canada, but I'll say Z as well. So, I do have American viewers. So, that's what I mean. <laughs> Z, Z. Yep, all the same to me. No oh, big. Same water. <laughs> Just set up a bit differently. No big. I'm good with it. It's all interpretation.
I'm one who probably couldn't name all 50 states. I could give you some. <laughs> uh, I think I tried that uh, a few weapon chats ago. We're just trying to name some American states. Yeah. <laughs> Any placemats around that uh, show all 50 American states that I can just like study if I'm meeting at the table, the dining room table? <laughs> Let's go to like some educational store and just or get one off of Amazon. Just a placemat with uh, all 50 states on. One way to learn geography, like it's not my best subject ever. So that, yeah, just, I guess, visual memory after a while. Heck, even a world map would be kind of fun, but yeah, 50 states would be pretty cool too. Yeah, America is pretty intriguing. Like the sheer size of it. And then uh, some news outlets break down the states into counties for like election coverage. I think it was MSNBC or CNN where they just break down the states into counties like for when polls are closing and stuff. Wow. Like I love that kind of detail. Like, that's some pretty amazing stuff. Amazing how that stuff is structured. Counties and states. Oh, I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, but trying to say, like, east of this city is where these mountains are or whatever. Yeah, that. Uh, my sense of direction is just not there. Not very good with that kind of stuff. <laughs> east, north, east, south, southwest, southwest. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, geography is technically like looking at an anatomy book, like just like a picture. But then once you get further detailed, and it's like, okay, this is the smaller intestine. And then once you go into like explanation type of stuff, then yeah, my brain typically shuts off. It's like, I'm not, uh, not going to remember that far. That much detail. But if I was around that information enough, some of it would stick or I'd be, be able to recall it eventually, but not right away kind of thing. That's kind of how my brain works a lot of the time. Learn something, even taking notes, hearing it audibly. And then even like maybe like two hours or half an hour later, try to explain like anything that I had heard or seen. And yeah, vast majority of the details probably gone. I'd have to like look at notes or something to just kind of jog my memory again or like even feel like I'm relearning it as if I had never learned it in the first place. It's like, wow. That's central processing disorder in a kind of very clunky way. It's probably a lot more to it. You could say in one ear, out the other as kind of a brief analogy of it, but there's a lot more to it. Or that's what they called it when I was younger. Like, it still... I deal with it every day. Like somebody's name or something. Yeah, it was just... Or like a couple hours later, like... You see a familiar actor, then the n name's on the tip of your tongue, but it just, for the life of you... 
just can't recall it. And then a couple hours later, oh, that was Jake Gyllenhaal or whatever. He's in like a perfume commercial, advertising a perfume, and he's on like a boat, and he ends up seeing a red moon or something. I don't know. Perfume com commercials are a whole other thing. And it seems you get them this time of year and probably Valentine's Day. But these big name stars that were models advertising perfume. It's like... <laughs> Just commercials are very strange. And American medication commercials, it's like, whoa. <laughs> That's a whole other league of uh, what the heck. <laughs> uh, you want this medication because? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and yeah, there's one where there's... Like, they're, they always seem to be narrated, but there's something happy going on. There's, like, a family on the beach or something. They're doing really happy stuff, and this one's, like, they're out in the country. Like, random people are out in the country on horseback and doing outdoor-type stuff, unoblivious to what the narrator's reading, like, for side effects and all that for this medication. It's like, whoa. Could you imagine a commercial where they're hearing the people in the actors in the commercial are hearing what the narrator's saying? I, man, well, they'd probably be physically sick or very scared. <laughs> it's just like, holy cow. slash yeah 18 okay <laughs> a lighter gray okay got a forward slash kind of symbol now here now there's yet again detail slight detail oh yeah medication commercials the american ones anyway that i don't think we can air them in canada like kind of blatantly advertise medications of that nature in Canada. I think it's kind of a law or something, but... Uh, yeah, we watch MSNBC and CNN, or um, news networks, in other words, and that's where I see the medication commercials. Yeah, it just some of the side effects are like... Oh... <laughs> But yeah, they have to inform you. Side effects, they they cover the bases, but sometimes you're like, wow, uh, can I just have the illness? Or <laughs> sometimes better than <laughs> what the sound effect, uh, side effects are. Sound effects. Side effects are the medication. But they're telling you, they're letting you know, but some of it is just like, whoa, wait, what would you even want to consider putting swallowing those pills or getting that injection <laughs> and it's just for like various ailments some of these but the narrator is like all cheery uh, telling you oh, side effects may include sweating inflammation at the injection site trouble breathing or like some of it's mild symptoms and other times it's like your heart could enlarge and stop beating or your lungs could get inflamed which is very fatal or some blood vessels in the brain constricting or something it's like okay i know not happy stuff very graphic but yeah it's, that's medication commercials and they can be on at almost any time of the day. <laughs> but anyway, we've hit the hour. <laughs> People are like, oh, thank goodness. But anyway, uh, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Uh, down below in the description, I have my Facebook profile uh, name. Uh, my Facebook uh, business page, Echoes of Color. Just a companion kind of 
site within Facebook to echoes the color here. I posted a progress photo of the previous section or shared it to my echoes the color Facebook business page. Anyway, yeah, I just post updates on all three of these and I have an Instagram, which yeah, I post progress as well. So anyway, uh, Merry Christmas or happy holidays to everybody that's celebrating. Do so safely. Don't drink and drive. Don't tax and drive. Yeah, just be safe. And uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. <laughs>